We're joined by Daniel Grassrope of the Lower Brule Sioux Nation in South Dakota. He was part of the Native American youth who flooded into Clinton's campaign headquarters. You built a teepee there in Brooklyn, in the campaign headquarters, Daniel? Yes, we did. We wanted to demonstrate a cultural event in Hillary's campaign office, and we wanted to bring our songs and prayer to tell her to oppose this pipeline that the youth, the future leaders of this nation and the future occupiers of this nation do not want this pipeline, because it will affect our water. A group and, of you flew in from Standing Rock? Yes, there was 11 of us that flew in from Standing Rock. And, and no one from the campaign was willing to sit down and talk with you at all? No one from the campaign wanted to talk to us. Uh, we called out for leaders from her campaign uh, management, and the security officers didn't want to um, take the letter that we are demanding to oppose this pipeline, and also the secretary at the front desk didn't want to take the letter as well. And the, the importance of this struggle to you and other uh, other young Native Americans across the country? <clears throat> the struggle, while well, we're trying to protect our water, and right now it's been um, threatened by this pipeline, and everyone in the Native Nation knows that water is our first medicine. Water brings life to everything, the plants, the trees, the four-legged, you know, the animals that we eat, everything brings um, life to us in general. And it's just, you know, it's very important that we have water.